Anyone who believes that science has now provided new explanations for the universe must face an unpleasant truth, things have actually gotten more complicated. The latest image from the James Webb Space Telescope has once again transformed our understanding of cosmology. This remarkable telescope has shown us in breathtaking detail how little we truly know about the universe's true nature. The crisis in cosmology continues, leaving scientists perplexed and desperately searching for answers to these mysteries. When the James Webb Telescope began its mission in the summer of 2022, it sparked a revolution in space exploration that few anticipated. Excitement buzzed among scientists and amateur astronomers alike as they eagerly awaited the unprecedented clarity and detail of Webb's images. Positioned deep in space, Webb's sharp eyes focused on regions of the cosmos previously unseen by humans. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to reveal the universe as it was shortly after the Big Bang, exploring the most distant galaxies and showing us the first stars. Its mission was to shed light on the many questions surrounding the origins of our world. So far, Webb has exceeded expectations, performing so well that it has left thousands of scientists reeling. The high-resolution images from Webb do not fit within the framework of old cosmology, forcing many researchers to reconsider long-held beliefs. By studying the first stars, humanity hoped to gain a better understanding of how matter and everything we experience today evolved. There was also hope that Webb would not only confirm the Big Bang Theory but perhaps provide clues about why the universe was created and our role within it. Instead, we now face even more questions. The Big Bang was not the beginning. Roger Penrose, a Nobel Prize winner and Knight of the British Empire, asserts that the Big Bang was just a part of a cyclical process, not the universe's beginning. Penrose believes in a succession of universes, where our current universe is just one in a series of many. According to his theory, at the end of each life cycle, the universe collapses into a state of perfect equilibrium before being reborn in a silent bang. Penrose's work on the cyclical universe, published in 2015, might now find support from Webb's observations. The telescope has revealed structures that are too advanced for the timeline suggested by old cosmology. This suggests that the history of matter and assumptions about the universe's age may be incorrect. Stars might have evolved faster and more complexly than previously thought. In Penrose's cyclical universe, this could be because a new universe inherits blueprints and basic structures from its predecessor, allowing it to form new matter more efficiently. Textbooks will almost certainly need to be rewritten, but it is still too soon for this process. In schools and universities worldwide, we will likely hear phrases like, we don't know, or until James Webb started, we assumed it was one way or the other, but now everything is different. Webb's revolution in cosmology is far from over. A stunning revelation from the James Webb Space Telescope shows the disappearance of 771 trillion stars. Using comparative data from Hubble and old star catalogs, it has been proven that these stars and their systems have vanished from our universe. This disappearance includes their planets, which is highly unusual since stars typically end their life cycle by exploding as supernovas. These stars, however, disappeared suddenly without any comprehensible physical reason, challenging the fundamental law of conservation of mass. This law states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed, only transformed. When a star explodes, its mass is ejected into the universe, serving as building blocks for new matter. Webb's discoveries of ancient, advanced structures, along with the vanished stars, indicate that our previous formulas and laws might be flawed. Our study of the universe relies on these laws, derived from observing light, analyzing movements, and establishing connections. When events like these occur, it forces us to reconsider our conclusions. Scientists struggle to explain how such a vast number of stars and planets could simply disappear. Some theories suggest advanced alien civilizations might be using stars as power sources, possibly hiding them from our view. Ideas like these, once met with resistance, are gaining more attention due to Webb's discoveries, encouraging a new openness to unconventional theories. Light, the primary messenger of the universe, plays a crucial role in astronomy. Every image we see of the universe is a play of light reaching us across vast distances, Light reveals the chemical composition and physical states of distant stars and galaxies, telling us about cosmic history and movements. The James Webb Telescope uses light in a revolutionary way, focusing on the infrared range, which can penetrate cosmic dust clouds and is emitted by colder, older objects. 
This allows Webb to peer into the earliest epochs of the universe, capturing light that began its journey thousands or billions of light years ago, providing a perfect imprint of bygone eras. These light signals enable the telescope not only to image stars and galaxies but also to provide precise spectroscopic data. Thanks to this technology, we can now perfectly analyze the composition of different stars and even exoplanets. This data is particularly important for testing and improving our models of physical processes in the universe. However, we know that appearances can be deceptive, and what we see is ultimately light. So, can the light we receive from the cosmos also deceive us? Yes, it can. Astronomical observations can be affected by phenomena such as gravitational lensing, where the light from massive objects in space is bent. Objects near these bends can appear distorted, enlarged, or even duplicated. Stars may seem much larger than they are, and galaxies may appear with exact twins or triplets. These effects are fascinating and challenging, as they impact the accuracy of our measurements and our understanding of the universe's scale. Another intriguing topic related to the perception of light in the universe is redshift. Light from objects moving away from us shifts to longer, redder wavelengths, known as the Doppler effect, which is key evidence for the expansion of the universe. This phenomenon has been used to measure the rate of expansion, supporting the Big Bang theory, which posits that the universe emerged from an extremely hot and dense state. However, discrepancies in these measurements on different scales have led to doubts about the reliability of redshift as an indicator. It is possible that we are being deceived by light here too. Today, there are increasing doubts about the true nature of the universe's expansion. Evidence shows that the universe is expanding faster in some regions instead of slowing down. Since the James Webb Space Telescope discovered galaxies that are 13.6 billion years old or older, we must also question our methods for determining the age of these galaxies. Astronomers use redshift to estimate distances and ages, with higher redshifts indicating more distant and older objects. However, the age of these galaxies seems inconsistent with a Big Bang occurring just 200 million years earlier. Perhaps we are misinterpreting light, and we need to investigate why this is the case. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.